to um, make a setup file for your Visual um, Visual Studio files. Okay, so let's say you made a really cool program that you want to share, but you don't want them to have to download all three of those files and all that kind of stuff. So what you want to do is go to Project, the properties of the project, publish it, and just go ahead and publish it to your desktop. You can publish it wherever you want, as long as you know where it is. Okay, so once that opens up, you can just minimize this or something. So once you get this open, yeah, I'm just gonna close that up. Once you get that opened, what you're gonna do is you're gonna install it. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your task manager, find find the find your program. You can go to applications, media player, go to process, and it'll be right here. So find open file location and close out of task manager and close out of your program. Go back a folder, copy it to your desktop. If you see what I'm doing. So Next, what you're going to want to do is delete these, because you don't really need them. Okay. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Google and type in Inno Setup. Find the downloads page. There will be a link in the description for you, so don't worry. Download your file. just proceed with installing it. Okay, so once that's done installing, launch it. Was out of that now. And once you get here, select the radio box, create a new script file using script wizard. It's much it's the easiest way to do it. Click next and type in your program's name next. So Media player uh, 1.0. Type in all this stuff that you want. Okay, next. Uh, next. Okay, now what you want to do here is to find the main execu executable file you go to your desktop or wherever you put the this folder and get the uh, get the main setup file it'll be the only file in there I'm sure so click add files and add all the files except for that and of course I totally forgot to add the icon Shit. Okay, so just open that, and it'll all be right here. Click Next. Uh, select the op options corresponding with what you want. Next, next, next. Just make this your desktop. Be easiest. Uh, and just proceed with compiling the script, and it'll be on your desktop. Okay, so here's the setup file. Now uh, this is a nice and clean setup file that you can upload to a website that you want to put it on, such as Mega Upload or Mediafire, and post it to YouTube of you like using the program, see if anyone likes it, have them download it, blah blah blah. And if you want you can test it out and everything when you get the setup file to see how it works out. So this is how it'll eventually look like. This, 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 that, that, and that. And then they can just launch it. It'll be on their desktop right here, and they can use the program that you have created for them. Probably not for them in spe specific, but you know what I mean. Just pick.
pick some kind of song here real quick to show you that it works. Sure. copyrighted okay so that is how to put your visual basic files into a setup and upload it thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe